Just a really quick shout out to my friends over in the UK who are hosting low entry competitions with an actual live stream for the drawing. Now this is for UK only and make sure you are 18 or older. You can also use the code ACADEMY for 15% off and that's it. I'll see you guys in the video. What's up guys? I wanted to start this video off going for an armored base on the coastline here in the water. Now I've actually scouted out a few armored bases, one of which is like halfway underwater. So they're looking pretty unique and we're just going to start with this one here. We did see an armored door on the backside facing the water plus the door on top. Looks like it might be a pretty airlocked up. I still think it's going to be better to go for the doors than drill through armored. So let's go for the door path here. The thing is just a bit tall to go in through the top. Okay, straight to a garage door. As long as this thing doesn't become sealed off, we should be good. Oh, that is exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't happen. We'll send some rockets here. We might have to end up drilling through armored though. Yeah, no pathway down in sight. We're gonna take the armored wall. Looks like it's a square though, so we could be into something. Please, no more drilling through armors. Looks like we got something. Sleeper there. Bok. TC, let's go. Let's see if it paid off. And this is one, two, three clan, I guess. There we go. Four C4, almost 30 rockets. First box, tons of expo ammo. 100 explosives. All right, we're definitely in the profit now. Let's get a door up before somebody comes. Okay, two more C4, some mats still have TC there to check. And TC, not that much sulfur, I mean, 10K, not bad, we'll take it. Just adds on to the profit, but yeah. So far, totally worth it. And that's the comms box actually behind it, 256 sec trash. Wow, okay, well, we've got a lot of moving out of here to do 50 satchels in there too. Okay, well, we'll try to get this stuff home and I'll take you guys to the next armored base that I scouted out already once we get all this loot secured. Okay, on to the next one. And this is the one I was talking about, basically underwater. Not sure what's up with all the ladders on it. Didn't check to see if it was rated or decaying yet, but we're gonna swim up there. There's already a hole in the walls and let's take a look. Okay, so no decaying, and I guess we can have a look up here at the top. Already some ladders placed. Yep, there's gonna be turrets up there on the top. I was kind of checking out his foundations. They are actually sheet metal if you look at that, or that's gonna be a wall. But I wonder if we could enter in through the bottom here. Seeing as there wasn't a door path here on the first floor, there are turrets though. Let's just give this a shot. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it seems like a pretty cool way to enter through the base. What do we got? Another armored wall. But we've kind of committed here. Hopefully we have the C4 to finish it. Or we might actually need to come back with more C4 since we can't shoot rockets down here below water. Yeah, we're gonna need a bit more C4. We'll go up through the ceiling there. Bring back four more C4. Then we can use rockets once we're actually into the core. Okay, we're back here again. And I'm thinking that was a pretty terrible way to raid. I was hoping it was gonna be all sheet metal. 
but it did turn armored after the first wall. Either way, hopefully we can score some loot from these guys and still be in a profit. Come on. We don't have any boxes falling. Bro, okay. Well, we've got door paths here. Let's see where this one leads. Looks like it's going towards the center. Oh no. Was it raided? There's ladders in here. That's a sleeper though. Hard side wall there. Okay, well, no loot or boxes whatsoever. We've got a few hard side walls here that are kind of sus. That one and this one, if they're going to be walling off any loot. We'll just go ahead and send the rockets here. Can probably maybe take both of these walls. Well, this has better be worth it. This is the last rocket. Oh no. Well, it is, <laughs> it is not looking good, but I am noticing this half floor here, so there could be boxes in there. We've still got a few walls. We can't give up now. Gonna go craft up some more rockets and we'll keep on hollowing this thing out. This is better be worth it. And on the way back here, we've actually got our first counter. Yeah, and he's got M2. All right, we're gonna wait this guy out for a little bit. Come back and finish this right out. I doubt this guy will bring rockets anyway. So my dude, the counter was doing some raids of his own and literally right next to my base and he decided not to raid my raid base. Heli's out now. We're gonna try to sneak back in there. We're kind of invested too much into this raid at this point that we gotta finish it. Well, as you can hear, the counter is doing his own separate raids. He decided not to hit my raid base. And we snuck back in here, Heli's out, but this is ideal to defend from. I mean, there's no way we die here if he starts coming over here to counter. Gonna stick with my gut plan. We're gonna take this half floor and this armored heart side wall. Okay, and that's TC, let's go. Definitely stick with your gut on things like that. Let's see if there's anything. Wow, not a single piece of sulfur. We've literally almost wiped this base so far and we've got nothing to show for it. And I guess lastly, we have damaged this half wall, so we'll send it on this. And we've got small boxes, okay. Is it gonna be worth it? We've used so much on this base so far. LRs, GLs, and yes, totally worth it. 50 rockets in there, 200 explosives. What is this base layout though? Almost 200 IQ, but we definitely did not rate it efficiently. Holy crap, that was a pain in the butt. Could there be even more loot? I'm legit gonna go ahead and call it there just so we don't eat even more into C4 and rockets. We're probably barely in the profit. I mean, we used so much on this base. And that guy was close by, so make sure to get sealed off in here. But yeah, that was a super stressful raid. Guess we'll move on to the next one. All right, so I'm gonna be keeping this next raid simple. Probably be the last raid of the video, but it looks like somebody has staged this thing to look like it was raided. It's not decaying. There was just a straight up empty box here and a bag. So we're gonna blast into the squares here on the side and hope to find some hidden loot. I've actually lived out of one of these before and you make it look raided and then nobody touches it, but let's see if he's stashing anything in here. Yes, yes, check out all the crates, TC. Uh, okay, well, it looked amazing but completely empty. It's like a staged 
troll base. Well, that's definitely not a good note to end on, but we did end up profiting a bit from the first two bases anyway. All armored bases today. I didn't have any more else that I was planning on raiding. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it there for the video, but I'll see you guys tomorrow in some more raiding. Make sure to get subbed and wish me luck, please. See you guys in the next video.